What's up booktube? So I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you my book haul from Big Bad Wolf in Bangkok 2017. So Big Bad Wolf is this um, company that sells their book outlets and they're originated from Malaysia but they're finally going around Asia and I think some parts of the world. So let's just go on to the books that I got. First book is Little Women. As you can see, their books are brand new and they're really, really cheap. So this one is a hardcover and it just it's just $3. So that is pretty amazing. I want to read this again and it's really, really nostalgic for me. Next book is um, two books of a series and I'm so bummed because I couldn't get the first book. I have Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor and I'm so 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 sad that I couldn't find the daughter of smoke and bone so I think I have to get it by myself maybe in book depository we'll see but yeah I have the two books now and they're really really cheap and they're good copies three dollars each that's pretty amazing next book I got is another sequel and it's Golden Sun by Pierce Brown I've never read any works of Pierce Brown but I've heard that Red Rising is pretty good I see it a lot in bookstagram so I can't wait to buy the first book Book and I have the second one three dollars again next book actually a trilogy so we have the Hunger Games trilogy and there were a lot of editions there I wanted the black one with the simple logos but I think this is the most beautiful editions that I could find there and uh, yeah they're pretty good copies as well three dollars each and I'm so excited to just reread these three because it's been a long time since I've read the Hunger Games and I'm super excited to go into that world again and another one is the bone season by Samantha Shannon I have no idea what this is about I hear it's really high fantasy or sci-fi I'm not sure I think I got this in the sci-fi section and again this is a really hyped book nowadays I see it a lot synopsis is pretty interesting so I can't wait to dive into this book and fortunately it's the first book of the series next book is my most favorite love and gelato it's a hardback copy this is the only clean copy that i could find these are brand new but the other copies of love and gelato are pretty um there's a bit of dirt on them so i really really wanted to have my own hardcover so i had to look a lot for the clean covers this is even a bit dirty probably can't see but i can live with it it's a hard cover i really really love this book love and gelato by jenna evans walsh i think this is like my most favorite contemporary of this month next is finding audrey by sophie kinsella i'm a bit hesitant to read her books but i heard that this is probably the best one of her work so it's hard cover and it's three dollars again yeah, surprisingly, the paperbacks are the same prices as the hardcovers, so it's a pretty good deal. I'm just so excited of how cute the format here is. They're like chat or film transcripts, so I'm just really excited to dig into this. And the next is another sequel. Well, the two sequels. We have Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. This is the original edition. I'm so sad I can't find the Clockwork Angel. Like, why is it so hard to find it? I've seen the paperback editions in my bookstore, but it's the new edition. I'm pretty bummed and I still have to get the first one before I could dive into this. So it's just sequels for me with this haul, but I'm pretty glad because I heard good things about this series and I just can't wait to read them. Next is the Twilight Saga Official Illustrated Guide. I love Twilight so much. I think that Twilight is the first YA fantasy that I've read when I was in high school so it's it's really special in my heart and I can't just not get this illustrated guide. Like The papers are amazing. It's just, I think this is $4, but that's still so cheap. This is hardcover with really good paper inside. It's good quality. It's really clean. The artwork is amazing, and I just love this book. So I'm really, really glad I got this. So this is like a notebook. It says, I can resist everything except temptation. And that is just so cute. It's like a pop art style, and 
And here, you can leave your to-do or your favorite movies, favorite book, favorite uh, restaurants, shops, websites, and it's pretty cool. I love listing down things and look at the pages. Yes, it's really gorgeous. Next book is More Than This by Patrick Ness and I have heard good things about this book. I'm really not into thrillers but the synopsis really just caught my attention and I really really want to start reading this and probably start getting into thrillers. Next book is Lord of the Flies by William Golding. The one thing that I absolutely loved about this book is the cover. The cover is stunning and then just look at these uh, what do you call this edge? I don't know, I forgot what I call this. Yeah, it's like a rough edge. I've heard that this is a good classic and I just want to try it out. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I have the first novel and the second one. This is a paperback, and it, but it's floppy, so it's really, really great. I love floppy books. But unfortunately, this one is hardcover. I really wanted them both in hardcover. Look, it's so pretty. <laughs> just can't have them both because the second book's only available in hardcover and the first book's only available in paperback so this really sucks i think i'm gonna like this books i'm a bit creeped out by the images inside but i've watched the movie and it's not creepy at all but <laughs> i get scared easily but let's see if i can read that book next one is stephen king the bazaar of bad dreams and it's a collection of sh short stories by stephen king again i'm not a fan of thrillers but i might want to try this out because it's just short stories and it's not really a full gruesome novel so it's pretty huge it's in hardcover it's three dollars and it's really really just unique so i can't wait to try this out that's it for my big bad wolf book haul i didn't count but i think i got more than 10 books that's for sure i'm pretty pretty excited to get into these series i can't wait to buy the first books of the series that i just you know i just got the sequels with another extra thing that i got there is that outside the big bad wolf sale they're selling um, pins and magnets. So I've got Garfield, Iron Man, and Attack on Titan pins because or badges because I just really love these three. I can't wait to put them on my bag and include them in my photo shoot. Hope you enjoyed my Big Bad Wolf haul this year and I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna attend the Big Bad Wolf sale next year, February or March, I think. Stay tuned and uh, be in these halls with me. Bye!